Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and, uh, man, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry about the late start. Uh, you know, w would you look at this? It's the consequences of my own choices. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm working on the, I'm less tired than I was last week. I'm still fairly scattered, but I'm working on that. Uh, last week, I had an appointment with either the psychologist or psychiatrist. I can never remember which one's which. And this week, I got the meeting. I, I've got the appointment with the other. Um, you know, you'd think after working in a hospital for 14 years, I could remember which one has the pad that sa and says, I'll see you again in four weeks. And which one has the couch and says, let's figure out why this is all your mother's fault. But anyway. Ah, hit the right buttons there. I, I was actually tempted to uh, use this as an opportunity to just do a live update of the server to 1.19 and then go hunt down a deep dark and a mangrove and, you know, some of that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, that that didn't happen either. Um, I just feel the need to obsessively check these guys now because they've proven themselves uh, unfit for survival. Like, how are these villages around long enough for you to find one like, like i don't understand why we don't just find a bajillion into abandoned villages because these guys have zero survival skills none not a one and okay so this side's good i'm going to check the other side and then we'll get into today's project um Man, I was really hoping to have the room set up for, um, <laughs> I'm half tempted to lock these guys into a place too. Um, just checking because one of you yahoos got yourself down to one hit point. Okay. Stop moving. I got to check your health. <laughs> Say ah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, I, I don't know that that really helps anything either. Um, all right, I get a couple of shulker boxes and a bunch of materials. And we're uh, we're going to get cracking on... I'm keeping the rockets just in case. I, I should... <laughs> cracking. I got some cracked deep sleep bricks too. Uh, where's my other... Do I really only have... Oh, I thought I had more than 20 cracked deep slate bricks. I might need to do something about that. Um, nope, that's cobble deep slate. Let me go ahead and get two more stacks of cobble deep slate. Um, and let me get those cooking while I get to the rest of the stuff. Um, Arcadius, I don't know if you're up to joining along at some point today, but I could use an extra hand if you've got it in you. If you don't, I get it. Don't worry about it. But if you do, I, I would definitely, definitely appreciate the help. Uh, because <clears throat> I got a fair amount of digging left. Guys, do you, do you not see somebody walking around with buckets of lava? What part of that seems like a good idea? Are you guys still alive? Yeah. Okay, so why is it that the four yahoos with the open cauldrons of lava are just fine? But these guys and those guys. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh okay. Oh, whew. okay. <laughs> oh, and those guys there. Uh, just, I don't know. I, I gotta keep an eye on them. Alright. Sorry. I need some tile. I think I need some cobble. Uh, I know I'm gonna need tile stairs and cobble stairs and deep slate stairs. And I know I'm going to need a bunch of polished basalt. I'm going to need the glowstone. 
I might need torches. I'm going to need some candles. And of course, flint and steel for said candles. Uh, all right. We'll, we'll see how bad my inventory stays. <laughs> so, week before last, before I went to and failed to make a squid farm, I was working on these stairwells here so I could start digging out the rooms. And this is where, this is where an extra pick or two would come in handy because uh, I want to get a moss farm in here. And I've got a couple other things that I'd like to build in here that uh, I still got to fix that too. That, that might solve one of my other problems. Um, but anyway, uh, so I got that side of the stairs done, but now I need to do this side. And I started working on it and realized I was turning the stairs in the wrong direction and that might be a good time to stop. And that's about as far as I got. So I do, I, I need to start here and uh, yeah. So these stairs should go down, turn left, and round and round they go. And uh, and this is gonna be this is gonna be this is gonna be the day. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean it wasn't a bad day at work. Uh, th there were a couple of there were a couple of instruments that were like hmm, yeah, somebody want wanting uh, strap buttons in their ukulele. Uh, which is fine. I, you know, I'm getting ready to do the same on my own. I got the strap buttons and the baritone uke. Um, the problem is, oh, I'm sorry. The ukulele you're looking for is in another location. Um, uh, the uh, the the ukulele that I have has a wider base to the heel. So it's going to be easier to get a proper strap button in. Whereas this individual's instrument is, um, well, the, the heel of the neck comes to a beautiful small taper that is very beautiful and very unsuited for installing a strap button. Um, <clears throat> not to mention the instrument itself. Uh, sorry, I'm... It's been a couple days since I last worked on this, so I'm going to have to keep turning back to the other side to reference things. Uh, all right. A strip of bricks too wide? Yeah, with a couple of cracked in the floor. Yeah. I really do intend to come through and put more cracked in there just for for texture, if nothing else. <coughs> and oh, anyway, and um, yeah, so trying trying to figure out where where to install a strap button, and you know, quote because fortunately they're just looking for an estimate right now. So it's like you know, okay, this is what it costs, and these are the things we need to be concerned about. You know, uh, so we, we can do it like this. I mean, I could probably put one in the in the bottom of the heel. It's going to be very easy to access. It's just, it's not going to be all that stable. So, uh, you know, it, just one of those one of those things that depends on what they're going to want and what they're willing to do. I certainly understand the desire to put a strap button on there. But uh, yeah, so you know, little things like that. Um, you know, trying to trying to fix a, a neck that came came in broken. I need to dress up that ceiling a little bit more. I'm sorry. I, I just like I, I got I realized that I decorated over here differently since the last time since I late first put the stairwell in, and I'm liking that a little bit better. And then I realized that it's. It's awfully plain up top there. And, oh, that's right. That's why I didn't finish that hallway. Because uh, I've got that part of the villager villager breeding bit uh, that is poking through where the hallway I didn't plan on is, is going to be. 
So I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe that'll maybe that'll fix itself once we once we actually get the the village people in place. I'll have to give them a call over at the YMCA. Unless they're out because they are in the Navy. I mean, what would you expect of some macho men? Okay, th those are the only three I remember. Did they have any others? Did the village people have any other hits beyond, or any, well, I mean, obviously they had other songs. You had to fill the album with something. You, you can't just fill it with three singles and call it done. Well, I mean, you could. I, I, there's a couple of groups I wouldn't put it past to, to just, you know, toss three, <laughs> toss three, uh, three singles in there and call it good. Um, something just does not look right. What did I do wrong? No? Stairs in the block. The stairs in the block. All right, I don't know. Man, that. Mm. Of course, it might be because it's been a couple of weeks since I uh, since I last worked on it too. Uh, I meant to I meant to get a little bit more done this weekend, but that, that didn't happen. I really wanted to get 1.19 installed and as I started to say but I don't think I finished saying I, I was actually thinking of making today's live stream just me getting everything updated to uh, 1.19 and uh, and just live streaming the update process uh, I don't know if anybody's actually interested in that but uh, it, it would definitely have made for for something um, ooh, iron <laughs> We, we got a giant iron farm. I, I don't know why I still get all ooh, iron. But I do. And and I, I just, I can't help myself. Maybe that'll come up in a different session. <coughs> oh. Anyway. And what would I... Uh, what I couldn't remember was where to find the streamer mode for the control panel. And now I'm wondering if it really was the current host that I had it because it was either cubed host or Nodecraft, I forget who now, had a streamer mode where you could show your control panel and everything that could possibly give someone a way to do nasty things with your server would be hidden. So you wouldn't accidentally out, you know, like your your server password or where where your files are stored or even, you know, which region your server is located in, uh, which would have been really nice because then then I could do that and not have to worry about you know operational security because uh, first and foremost I I was in the IT world and you know. I, I know the trouble people can cause with just uh, just a glimpse. I mean, <coughs> Doc tried to hide Doc M on the Hermitcraft server tried to hide I forget what, but somebody somebody looked at oh no that's right uh, the Hermitcraft server was trying to play without revealing the seed and. Somebody looked at the particular formation of some blocks in the nether roof and used that to figure out uh, <laughs> what the what the what the seed was, and it's like, uh, guys, come on! Did I really make that offset on every no? Yes. Okay. I uh, am confused. What 
am I doing? Never mind. I, I, <laughs> I ask myself that question a little too much these days. All right. Well, I know that's going to be there. Of course, as I, as I walk through the reasons or what I was trying to do, I realized that part of the process involves uploading files via FTP. Uh, you see, kids, that's still a thing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, I realized that part of that I wouldn't be able to do anyway, since that would definitely, definitely give away uh, information I did not want out. So... Oh well. Alright, I need deep slate bricks in the cobble. So I'm gonna put a cobble there, two deep slate tiles there. Uh and then the wall. Did uh I guess I I guess I did. No. Oh. I don't need to that part doesn't need to be fancy. Hmm. Don't let me forget to go, uh... You, you think those two stacks of, uh, cracked bricks are gonna be done cooking? I might want to do that before I get too much further down into the depths. All right. A stair will go there. Where's stair? There's a stair. I still get... Oh, I got to figure out what I'm going to do about this hallway, too. And it doesn't help that I got stuff like that. I put the... the this is why I put craftable... Or items that you don't find in the wild at the bottom of various redstone builds and whatnot, so that way I know when I'm running into one. Uh, so I know that there's something there. I might even have a block's worth of space, but it, ah, I gotta figure out what to do about that. All right. Um, did I mention I, I, I'm a little scattered? I am a little scattered. Let's, uh, what was I doing? I was, oh, checking on the stove. Checking on the stove. Checking, <laughs> checking on the furnace. I mean, I, I, I guess, I guess, checking on the stove works too. Is that still? Oh, okay. Sweet. All right, we'll see how far that gets me and go from there. All right. Uh. I don't know why I'm doing both sides. I almost always come down that set of stairs anyway. I, I mean, other than for the symmetry, I, I, I can't, I don't, I almost never come down this set of stairs. I don't know why that is. I, I find that curiously curious and all of a sudden. Curiously curious. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's, uh, so, in front of that strip is the regular ceiling, then the stairs go down, the stairs go up. Diggy diggy hole. Should 
means I need to go ahead and do this guy right here. Is the is the yeah okay no it is short term memory something or other it won't be the first time that I go back and forth <laughs> back and forth check double check this is usually the kind of stuff that I have a podcast on uh, daily tech news show which is one of the podcasts I regularly listen to is actually taking a week off. They've started doing this thing that they call Experiment Week. Uh, one one of the things that they do is... Because uh, they, they <laughs> everybody needs a break. And August... Th this part of August is almost always the slowest time in the tech news world. Um, except for this year. A after they already planned their vacation and everything that was going on, Samsung announced that they were going to do some big event uh, <laughs> during the week. So, naturally, uh, they're, they're going to have something together. But anyway, uh, this is where various producers and guests and other, other hosts uh, get a chance to pitch a show. So they do, like, a, a pilot episode of a, of a show they would like to run. And... Um, and it airs on the DTNS channel in place of the normal content. Um, and alongside uh, the... The... Uh, Daily Tech Headlines. Sorry. I just realized one of these is going to get a candle. So... Oh, okay. So that would be the one in between the two. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And that's even with the top of that stair. So that means that's a brick. That's a brick. And brick, brick, brick. Sounds like a really bad duck, I know. There we go. How enlightening. Now I'm starting to wonder, do I, do I... I'm trying to keep stuff on my hotbar that I know I'm going to use and need. And I'm starting to wonder why, why I even bothered having the axe there. That, that's something that could be used for, for, for an actual useful item. We'll go with that for the moment. All right. uh, tch, tch. Of course, that also meant that this week's cord killers did not have Tom Merritt uh, because he is on, well, vacation. And he took a vacation from all his shows, which is pretty good. I, again, uh <laughs> One one of the things that I I did not learn until much later than I should have is the need for time off and taking a break, you know, stepping away from things when uh when you need to. I just realized that I'm waiting for Rayest or somebody to clip that and use it against me at the least opportune or the least convenient moment. They've already clipped me saying that I was a dwarf, so. Alright. Uh, so, that's that one. And then brick, and then the hallway. See, this is the hard part because I got to get to a pattern. And then once we get to uh, <laughs> the next part, I just need to, like, borrow a beacon because I want rooms that size heading off towards the west on each floor so there's going to be a room off that way at this level 
there's going to be a room off that way at this level, which means I'm probably going to rip out everything I just put in over there. Um, <laughs> and, and so on and so forth. It, I hate it when I realize stuff like that. Like, yeah, that's right. On each of these levels, that's going to go because that's going to be where the... Uh, where the room is. I don't know if I'm going to do rooms this way. Um, because, I I mean, I've got the template that I would like to form. But I know that in order to get the, uh, the door over here to work, some of the redstone is around here. In order to get all the sorting system to work, some of the redstone is around here. So I don't, I don't know. I might, I might do it just to just to get the symmetry. So it's like this at every floor. Um, that reminds me, I need to do two things while I've got a moment. Um. Need to get some of that stuff put away because space is the ever the most frustrating thing in the world. Oh, why am I not using one of my enchanted flint and steels? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, oh. I forget. I need, uh. I need to get the emeralds before I see those guys. Hi, fellas. I'm still so tickled at that, at that voice thing. Uh. Mm, that's one of the things that I definitely need to do before the 1.19 as well is update the villager voice data pack. Um, it's not too hard. A as far as I can tell, the only thing that's changed is the pack.mc, uh, the, the meta file that has the data pack information. I need to increment one line by one. Um, that, that part I might do on a live stream now that I think about it. Uh, I probably can without, uh, without too much trouble. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to worry about revealing anything on, uh, most of the stuff. All right. Uh, oh, I guess. Tools all repaired. <laughs> yeah, how you do, That's a no. Hi. That's a yes. Hi. All right, I just need to get uh get some Hi. emeralds from these guys real quick. How you do? How you do? How you do? Yeah, there's just a there's a simple meta file that I need to update, and then. Uh, you guys aren't going to reset, are you, because of the hour? Because it's 5 o'clock, and you guys are worse than bankers about the time you're working. Like, nope. Tis one second past five. You shall not trade anything. All right, that's why I got more. I guess. I just realized I, I kind of need, uh, maybe I, I need to get some more clerics then. Or if, uh, X Medic Frog was on clerics. Although, let's be honest, I'm probably not one to bust anybody's chops about pronunciation. Given, uh, <laughs> given some of the fun ones I've had. Let's, let's go with what we got here. Oh, I still got to get that video edited, though. So that way we can get the uh, the sound clip. I've owed him that for a while. What sound clip, you say? Oh, don't worry. I'll let you know when the time comes. Let's 
Hey, Arcadius, help is here. Are you in Discord too? Hello. I'll leave this box of supplies up here. That way, uh, that way we've all got something to work with. And, and so you know, I've got plenty more of the deep slate in the bulk storage, and I've got plenty of basalt. Uh, uh, I forget, I forget who it was that went to go grab some basalt for me. Uh, if I were me, I had to put it, there we go. I've got a box with like 283 basalt and that's not counting the stuff that's already been polished. So there, there's plenty, plenty of basalt. And down and then we go to the left, to the left. All right. Oh, no. Uh, this was. Yeah, there is a stair on this level of brick. Well, some of the uh, some of the excavation is going to be easier. <laughs> oh man, come on, get get on a uh, get get on get on voice, get on voice, please. That's not gonna work. Ah, there you are. All right. We're working on the other side. <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> careful on the digging. Trust me, there's no shame in uh, stopping to look back around at uh, where you were before. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna need more deep sleep brick than that. Yeah. Do I grab it now? Nah, two stacks will get me at least far enough for today. All right. All right. He said, hopefully. Just uh, do do stone stone scaffolding for wherever <laughs> wherever something else should have been. Remember, this stairwell doesn't go straight; it goes down so many and then turns. In fact, I got that brick, and that's the last set of upside down stairs. 
And this is the last set of regular stairs. And we got one there. Right? Yeah, because that stair goes out. I got my little circle. And then this little light of mine. way down first. That should be open wall, right? No. Yes. No. Wait. Did I... There's the brick, and then one more. Yeah. No, that, that's right, that's right, because that goes there. Then I've got one too many, one too many stairs. Yes. No. <sighs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so there, there'll there be bricks on either side of that as part of the roof. So that's going to go there. bricks. I mean, while I know we got more stone than we know what to deal with, I, I do... <laughs> I'd hate to go wasting it. I feel like I might need to be worried about the water dripping. Let's also get a couple of torches out. seen by anybody so we could just go ahead and do that and that all right there we go then we got the next 
next stairwell getting down. It also means that torch will need to get moved over, but uh, I'll do that once we get the rest of the hallway out to the other part of the stairs. for that. Oh, okay. Arcadius is on it. was uh, I'm noticing some very different reviews to the movie Prey uh, and I don't know if any of you have seen the movie yet that's where the roof goes okay good I'm going to leave that lantern there because I use that to mark off places where there was um, <laughs> access to the void, not to the void, to uh, to the outside. All right, uh, that needs to go as well. All right, yeah. Oh, I'll need to fix that too. I think I'll I'll do. I'll try to do some of the. Uh, Uh, beautification is not the word I'm looking for. What's the word I'm looking for? Where where I'd, I take the time to get a consistent... Oh, um, the movie Prey. It's the latest movie in the Predator franchise. Um, I've seen two very different types of review. Some people are absolutely, like, ecstatic gushing about it the best movie ever um and then some people are a little more subdued if that makes sense what did you think of it now you've seen uh, i'm pretty sure you've seen at least the first predator um from <laughs> from the 80s uh <laughs> I, I'm trying really hard not to do not to do the math on how far back the '80s was because uh, mm. <laughs> yeah, that's what some people have said. But there there have been a couple of, a couple others that were a little more a little more uh, critical about the the character development. Um, but uh, Cord Killers, the podcast that I listen to, does a segment they call Spoiler in Time. Uh, where it's uh, one block off. Uh, no, this is one block off. They're not. Uh, where where they go in and talk about what they're watching. You know, they say no restraints on spoilers, but compared to the way they used to be, they're still fairly restrained on spoilers. Um, because they 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 used to they used to let they warned you they warned you that this was spoiler in time and if you don't like spoilers I'm sorry for you but they they've kind of toned that down a little bit more now Which, I, I mean that's good but anyway so the cord killers people were absolutely ecstatic about it um but uh and, and Bryce the producer had mentioned that this was the first Predator movie he'd ever seen. He never saw any any of the other any of the other movies. Um, I'm losing track of what I what I'm chopping down. All right, uh, so so it was kind of interesting to hear him talk about the movies with or talk about Prey without having seen any other any of the other Predator movies. There's one, two, 
three, four, five, six. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, I think I have at least a decade, if not more, on Bryce, which, which I, there's a phrase I, I <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I knew the, the, the premise was that it was a, a Comanche tribe, um, and that wasn't really the part that anybody had any any issues with. Uh, Bryce had a little trouble understanding why um, why the predators were lowballing their tech, but that's also because he didn't have the history of the previous movies where it was demonstrated that they believed in honorable combat. And so, uh, like, that was one of the things that was shown even in the first movie that uh, if they, if they, you know, when Schwarzenegger is unarmed, spoiler alert, uh, sorry. <laughs> you, you, you know, the predator himself also disarms from uh, from his high tech weaponry to go fisticuffs. But uh, one of the one of the YouTube channels I watch, the Critical Drinker, uh, a wonderful Scots, uh, pointed out some of the issues that that he had with the uh, with the movie. Like he he put it not as the best predator ever. But definitely middle of the pack, like better than better than most of the Predator movies that came out, and but not as not as good as the first or second one. Um, although I gotta say, I I was never a big fan of the second Predator movie. Uh, I don't, and I don't even know why. I I couldn't tell you why. Don't forget to light it up. <laughs> lest we get lest we get zombies. It reminds me, I probably ought to put a safety railing up while we're still doing construction. Uh nobody needs safety rails. Uh my villagers up here do. Yeah, I, I haven't watched all of them because uh, there there were a couple that I I saw I saw what people had to say and I was like mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that. Now, if we want to get Arcadius going, we we can start talking something about Star Wars, but I don't know that I want to get him wound up again, even if it was entertaining the last time. Do I not have any extra? No, of course not. Uh, what do I have enough of? Or enough extra of? I'm running low on supplies. I, I really, I gotta, I gotta take a day and go, like, chop down some more trees. If I were me, I would, there we go. So uh, I think uh, I, I think when it comes down to prey, I'll probably wait until it's available on uh, one of the streaming services and go from there. Oh, don't I have deep sleep wall already? Before I go, there we go. Yeah, I, I I think that's what I, what I'm gonna do is I, I'll uh, <laughs> that's my marker hole. I gotta make sure I don't fall down that. 
which means I almost certainly will before this is done. But yeah, I, I, I'm think I'm definitely thinking uh, when it when it hits like uh, Amazon to rent or something like that, I'll uh, I'll definitely give it a watch. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't realize it was available on Hulu. I, I thought I thought they the studio had um, locked all that up fairly fairly tightly. You alright there? <laughs> um, I, I would also very cautiously mention don't mention password sharing on on stream, <clears throat> it, which is oh man. Netflix used to used to make like a, an open secret of like yeah I, we know people do it we don't care to all of a sudden like yeah you see we we actually uh you know we we care now so if you could kindly not do that that would be greatly appreciated which has caused all sorts of confusion from people who are like oh yeah <laughs> Oh no, I, I I was even getting into the just you know, I, I I try not to encourage certain things on on air. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Beach Duck will be on before too long too, because I know you know who that is. like having that one spot up there. There we go. What about you, Arcadius? You've been kind of quiet. You uh, interested in seeing Prey? Yes? No? Maybe? Kind of? Eh? Uh, to be honest, it wasn't even on my radar until you mentioned it. I oh. I it was a thing. Really? <laughs> Okay. I, no, no. I, I live a sheltered life. <laughs> no, no, no. For some reason, I, I kind of figured you would have known. Like, I I thought for sure either uh, Medic or Chaos would have brought it up. Uh, the only thing uh, Chaos has brought up lately has been the D&D uh, &D movie that he says looks amazing. Uh... Like, like, actually looks amazing, or we're cautiously hoping that, uh, <laughs> that that it does end up amazing. Well, I mean, we're talking about chaos here, so... I mean, yeah. No, he, he actually thinks it looks amazing. Okay. Yeah. He thinks the trailers look awesome, which I'm a little leery about, since, you know, that's what trailers are for. Yeah. But, uh... but I mean... How many how many times have we seen a movie that couldn't even manage a decent trailer? So, you know, I, I'm not gonna. I, I'll at least make a make a cautious hope out of uh, <laughs> out of out of it. <laughs> well, we'll see. Still haven't actually watched the trailer yet, even though he's told me to like 42 times. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been holding off on the trailer because I'm worried that, like most of the other D&D &D movies and TV shows and materials, the, the trailer is going to have all the best parts and there won't be any surprises or anything left if... Uh, <laughs> They're going to give away all the story arcs. Yeah, yeah. I, I consider that a, a very, very legitimate concern. <laughs> All right. Um. And that's where the light's going to go. I got to make sure that I don't create any dark spots because the last thing I want is some random zombie rattling around in the walls. <laughs> oh, 
I gotta, I gotta remember. Ah, I wish I had. Okay. Uh, one of the, Tom Merritt, who runs a number of podcasts, like a lot of podcasts, uh, started a new show called A Word with Tom Merritt. Because, you know, the man doesn't do enough shows already. Uh, <laughs> that's a separate thing right there. Um, and he always finishes up his episode with a quiz and I just realized that I probably should have written that down so I could ask uh, you Arcadius and the other coffee craft folk uh, <laughs> what their answers would have been to some of his questions and the only one I can remember right now it, you know they're all A or B questions like this or that type questions and the question was fast or slow zombies And that, that's that's the that's the full context of the question. Fast or slow zombies? Which you gonna pick? Well, I mean, this is a complex question. I mean, yeah, okay, <laughs> his words were this or that, but that's not that's not how this works. <laughs> I mean, wait, are you waiting there, for the monkey's paw to shrivel <laughs> up and uh, somebody to cackle? Like, this is Tom. The, that that's Brian. You got to worry about that with. No, 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 no. I'm saying this is a this is a, a legit complex question here. I mean, what, what's if complex? You, if you if you if you choose only one of those two answers, mm -hmm. you're wrong, because that means there's no evolution involved. Because no matter how you say the zombies came about, most of the time it's always some sort of virus. Oh, oh, you're you're way overthinking the question. You're way overthinking the question. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but follow me here. Okay. So if you if you don't have the evolutionary model there, then sure, you can just pick one or the other and it's over. But if you take the obvious route, which is there has to be a, Look, the, the, a virus involved. The, the this virus. is a simple question. Nobody's talking origin. Nobody's talking deep mechanics. You want your zombies fast or you want your zombies slow? But that's you, you can't just choose like that. Sure you can. No, no, you can't. Yeah, you can. No, that's, that's not at all how this works. Zombies fast or zombies slow? No. Tick tock. You can't, you can't do that. It's got to be like both, a combination, somewhere in the middle. I mean, they've got to evolve. You've got to have the what? slow ones. You've got to have the ones that, you know, the virus got a hold no, of. They have a better muscular system. Th th like this, the dogs this, is, and... this, is, this is a stupidly simple this or that. Fast or slow. Nope. Can't answer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Not gonna do it. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> uh, most of the early guests chose slow because they would prefer something that they could outrun. A couple of the more recent guests chose fast, and I forget the reason why. Get it over with quicker? I don't know. Hey, it's a creeper. Oh. Where? Oh, there. Uh, oh, shoot. I left my bow in another box. <laughs> well, and that's that's why some people, you know, pick the pick the slow zombies because they they'd rather they'd rather be, you know, like if I got outrun something, I'd rather outrun the slow ones. Um And to be fair, 
with zombies, you don't have to be fast. You just have to be faster than everybody else. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's right, Auntie Bess. That's right. Now I really need to, like, like, I almost want to pull up one of the audio files and run it in the background real quick. So I can remember the other questions. Just like fast forward to the end of it. <laughs> you would think. Of course, I, I I seem to recall somebody picked fast zombies because they're scarier. And you know, if if you're gonna have to deal with zombies, you might as well you know deal with the scary ones. For some reason. Well, you know. Where did the where did the creeper come from anyway? The back room. I oh the torch around. No, no. Uh no, no. There's there's a deep dark back there. There's a deep dark back there that's gonna have to get lit up uh another time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's that part too. I've <laughs> You know? Of course, is that getting into the same same territory as like the the sparkly vampire stuff too? You know, uh, there's no pretty zombies, and there shouldn't be any sparkly vampires. Yeah, I've got nothing on you. Oop. That's a loud. <laughs> Sorry, didn't grab that uh, mute quite fast enough. That's all right. Anyway, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Anything dead walking around? Well, I don't know. Have you seen me before the first cup of coffee? Some would say that is the walking dead. Oh, and there, there was some news about the, the Walking Dead TV show that they were talking about on Cord Killers, but for the life of me, I I don't remember what it was. I, I To be honest, I kind of tuned it out. The Walking Dead has never been my personal favorite TV show. Sorry, Beach Duck. Um, Oh, that's, that's right. She does like that show. Yeah. Yeah. Her liked that show. It's over now. Um. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. No. I thought it had been off air for like a while now. Yeah. I, I honestly don't remember if it actually is truly like if The Walking Dead is dead or <laughs> if they were going yeah, to start a... it back up. Um, because for some reason I, I thought there was, there was going to be another something to do with it. I just, I just remember Brian mentioning that. Of course, that might have been when I was trying to glue that cello neck on. <laughs> um, some, somebody over at Eastman didn't, uh, didn't pack it up very well, or somebody in transit didn't treat it very well. Either of those are possibilities, uh, because it, uh, well, it did not survive transit very well. <laughs> and trying to figure out how to glue that back together. That That's where, uh, I, I know I mentioned this to, uh, to dad and a couple other people that um, Ben Crow on uh, Crimson Custom Guitars 
showed off a really neat trick that has come in. Oh, it's come in handy so much. Um, oh, that's why I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> where if you've got a glue joint that is going to be really hard to stick together for whatever reason. And in this case, the nature of the break made it really hard to, to deal with. Um, you can sprinkle a little salt in the glue and it will provide just enough grit to hold the two pieces to, to provide friction for the two pieces you're trying to clamp up so they don't slide and it'll evaporate with the water during the during the curing process. And uh, yeah, that, that was just one of those things I was like, huh, okay. Which definitely came in handy today because, uh, yeah, just the location of that break was... Uh, Unfortunate. Yeah. And tragic. And I'm out of deep sleep bricks again. You know, I'm doing all this stairwell stuff, and, and there's a part of me that wants to go find the uh, the elevator tutorial that Doc M did, and just rip everything out and build that. But if the redstone involved in that made Doc M nervous, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Wait. I am no, I am no Doc M on this, and if he's getting a little, like, I don't know, that might not be the, the project for me. Yet. Yet. And I'll grab a little more polished basalt. unfortunate things are going to happen I'm within range it's okay until you get it done uh well yeah I still haven't figured out what I'm doing in those hallways that that's why I've been trying to leave torches on right now I'm just focusing on the stairwells and trying to get that trying to get that done of course I know the I know the lighting changed and I don't have to be quite as uh particular about some of it, but uh, old habits and all that. And I think that's one of the one of the little ironies of it too is that uh, the whole the whole point of of the changes was to, to make this sort of thing that much easier. Sometimes I, I get to these points where I need to, I need to, <laughs> I just, I just, uh, double check, focus, 
focus. <laughs> that, that thing that eludes me most days. Focus. I don't know if anything can spawn up there, but I'd rather not find out. So this is going to be what? Going to need some support. One less there. That that is really bothering me that I can't remember the rest of the the rest of the questions. He asks the same questions to every guest. you saw, but Monster Hunter is on sale. Mm. I keep thinking about it. One of the other, one of the other uh, live streamers that I try to, I try to send people to when I can, but uh, unfortunately, schedules have changed, and so it's not. It doesn't quite work out the same way as it used to. Um, plays a ton of Monster Hunter and is very happy with it. And I've been trying to find I'm st I'm still trying to find a replacement for World of Tanks, which used to be my go-to like I uh, I just want to I just want a laid back, no worries, no, you know, no stress live stream. Um and World of Tanks used to fill that void. And then the company got a little too special for their own good. <laughs> That's one word for it. Yeah, I was trying to make sure I put it in a nice way. Um, have you looked into No Man's Sky? Uh, I heard you and Medic talking about it. Um... Although, given the number of times that you've had to say, hang on, I can't pause it, makes me believe that it's probably not what I'm looking for. Uh, well, I wonder if that's just because of my ineptitude at trying to figure out where the save points are. Because <laughs> <laughs> no one else seems to have that problem. Huh. All you need to do is warp back to your base, I have found. And, uh, yeah, that, that, that oh. works. <laughs> really? Like, so, so all these times uh, I've been hearing, hang on, hang on. It, it, it's yeah. really been that simple? Yeah. Huh. It really has. Now, granted, I may have to jump in my ship and fly to a, a space station to use their teleporter to get home. But, I mean, you're looking at the work of, like, less than a minute, so. Huh. Well, I may have to think about that. Yep. Now, it's a, uh, what kind of what kind of game is it, though? Like, are we talking... Survival, crafting, um... You... I'm not going to do this justice. You need medic here for that. Okay. I'm, I'm sure even... I, I know I know better. you guys like try to put Seven Days to Die as a survival game, but it's really more of a survival horror game, and I, I just... I'm not a big fan of the horror. This is, this is a space opera. I mean, you're, you're 
I've heard you describe we've, things as space opera. We we don't uh, we don't. Yeah. Okay, we've <laughs> barely scratched the surface. Um, but I have visited upwards of twelve planets, trying to find resources. I've gone to three different space stations, trading with different aliens. I've traded for a new ship, which I then turned around and put into storage because I was able to find a class uh, B hauler uh, as a salvage wreck. Mm -hmm. um, the one that I bought is only worth like two million. The hauler that I found was originally worth seven point five million, but. But it was salvaged, so it had a ton of junk on it that was broken, and you had to put effort into fixing it. Hmm. And every time you fixed a, a quote-unquote broken module, it freed open the cargo slot. And this hauler has like 42 cargo slots on it, which is ginormous compared to my 15 fighter. <laughs> uh, so that's just a ton of stuff I can carry around and sell or hold on to to craft with or whatever. Um, but as I've been clearing those blockers, the value of the craft has gone up such that it's currently valued at 17 million, I think. Okay. And I've barely cleared hard. I think I'm maybe, maybe 40% of the way through clearing all the blockers. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and if you can get your hands on like the right stuff or you can get the right, you know, do you have to do the right stuff? Walk when you get the right stuff. Yeah. No, <laughs> never mind. It's, it's, there's some, Auntie there's Best some knows what I'm talking about. Luck. Oh, I know what you mean, but I mean, there's, there's some level of luck, but there's also, uh, well, you can buy maps. And we all know about how Luck and I get along. I don't know. I mean, you can buy a map. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll take you to a down ship. Now, whether that down ship still has a pilot or whether or not it's salvaged, that's, you know, that's a 50-50 roll, I think. But... You know, you're still getting something for it. Oh. So. Is this the... Are we at the bottom yet? I no. think so. No. No. We're getting close, though. set of stairs up here or is this all wall no I need one more set of stairs over this one need to make a few more torches. Keep an eye out. <laughs> there, there, there is some more deep dark under that deep dark. <laughs> there it is. Alright, I was wondering where that block went. Is this the bottom of the stairs here? Uh, 
I think so. Or I start cutting a hole here. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to uh, measure that? <laughs> that? That's where... That's where the bottom's going. I am kind of hungry for a pork chop. <laughs> oh, yeah, pork. Yeah, but the, the, the sauerkraut that's mixed in, as tasty as that is, the <laughs> uh, let's just say some of my time has been occupied. Well, that's not pork in the sauerkraut this time. No? That I was... thought that was pork. No, nah, that's beef this time. Hmm. So beef is what's for dinner? Caraway. Not a spare rib. Uh, I mean we can we can make some uh sauerkraut and spare rib. That's that's some good stuff right there. Yeah. We could also do some corned beef and cabbage. That should be the next one. Good old corned beef and cabbage. Corned beef and cabbage. I'm gonna have some cornbread with it. Now, are you talking like the the southern cornbread or northern cornbread? Why are you gonna look at me like that? I'm trying to figure out what you mean by that statement. Talking about cornbread, like the flat pancakes. Cornbread. Uh, yeah, you have a, a habit of pointing out the uh, different taste and texture of the northern version of cornbread. Okay. Are you talking about your silly ineptitude in thinking that sugar belongs in cornbread <laughs> I'm sorry that's not that's not cornbread that's cake I'll go to your room <laughs> I was wondering when we were going to get to that part So that one's not going to be seen either. All right. That means that... That needs to be... There. Because that one's going to be there. Oh. No one's going to see... No one's going to see that right there. I hear the jingle jingle of a jubba. Oh, it's 20 minutes past his dinner time. That's why he's jingle jingling. Go ahead and feed the poor puppy. The poor woe-begotten puppy. Okay. Oh, that goes there. All right, I guess I didn't need a torch there.
Yeah, there we go. Well, you know, I really thought that all these uh, all these open areas where we didn't have to worry about caving was going to be a, a good thing. Man, this is getting uh, the wrong kind of special. I I, I have no points uh, points of no bearings. Double check in position, making sure I got everything in the right spot. I need to, I need to throw some more cracked brick in there. But honestly, I'm, I think I'll worry about going back through and retexturing all that after the fact, because that's yeah. Are you stuck on the uh, the ever present inventory problem? put down a uh, shulker box of inventory emptiness. I think I've temporarily lost Arcadius for a minute. This is the funny thing. I, I listen to all those podcasts and I go, oh yeah, I'll definitely remember that to do uh, to talk about on the live stream. And I say that every week. Every week. Oh yeah, I'll remember that. That's where the sad narrator voice comes in and goes, he did not remember. He did not remember any of that. friend. Where did you come from? Ah, over there. It might be time to go grab a bunch of extra torches and do some more, do some more lighting. Otherwise, we're going to have some frequent guests. And not of the BR guest kind. stairs are even with that wall that is even with the second to last stair so those stairs are even with that wall okay 
Yeah, th this is why I would almost prefer to just dig everything straight out. As much as I like the convenience of finding a big open hallway that has... Yeah, that, that means less digging. Um, the, I, man, it sure is nice to have points of reference. There we go. I'm probably going to have to restock on the, uh, basalt, the polished basalt. Somebody had uh, put together a fun little meme with uh, polished diorite, which is a block that, that it, that's what it's called, a polished diorite. And then they also, uh, <laughs> they put next to it, polished diorite, and it's polished diorite with a Polish flag on it. I, I don't know why that tickled me so, but it did. course I remember looking for uh, I was trying to find some Polish folk music and all the articles I was getting back were for how to polish a folk guitar it was uh, definitely one of the more frustrating and fruitless searches I've ever done I think we're getting out of where those guys are. Mm. I need more. I need less of those noises. More of the deep slate brick. I can barely hear what sounds like a skeleton. Okay, I am back. Welcome back. <laughs> to reboot my banana. Oh, voice meter give you problems? It crashed. Oh. So I lost all sound and I was like, uh, what's happening right now? <laughs> I, I, you know, e even though it's had problems like that, I gotta say, Voice Meter Banana is one of the one of the programs I have deeply enjoyed finding. Hey, you got anything that needs to go up into storage? Drop it in that shulker because I'm getting ready to head up there to grab more deep slate. Couple of stacks of the stone on me for terraforming. <laughs> Yeah. Not getting the gravel I stole. <laughs> there you go. Is this going to be another wall, a tunnel here? Uh, that needs to go to this landing on the other side. This is where so it's yeah, going to turn down. Tunnel. Okay. Yeah. Because I think... Is this the last one or the second to last one? This is the second to last one. So we should finish looking down at Y103. Yeah, that elevator one sounds like a oh really nice three. idea. Yep. Oh, okay, I was reading the wrong thing. I'm sitting here like, I'm <laughs> sitting at 150, <laughs> dude. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what are you smoking right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's not that bad. I mean, look, look at how low we are already. We're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I, don't, I don't understand why you're cranky about that. <laughs> what were you looking at, the X or the Z? I was looking at the third one, so I'm, I'm saying oh, that's Z. Yeah, that's Z. Okay. Yeah. It's when it, it <laughs> when it moved that I was like, "Oh, wait a minute, that's not." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, I did that right. Like, did I do that right? Yes, I did that right. Do I have any more torches crafted up? Where's my... Oh, yep. Yeah. No, I got torches. Okay. There we go. There we go. Because it would be very unfortunate to have, to have something happen after all this work. <laughs> oh. Hello, Floor. I didn't expect to see you there. That's... Hi, friend. Oh! That's a, that's a, that's a big old cave of, nope. That's a big old cave and not right now. Not today. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That, lo that looks like, uh, that looks like a lot of not today. Where did you come from? Oh, you're gonna wash away all the torches I put down, aren't you? Oh, good. Good, good, good. Should have been okay. I don't know why I dug deeper than that. Not thinking. Are you taking all the gravel for uh, concrete? Me? <laughs> I'm surprised you're. Oh. Was it you or Medic that made the uh, little mini concrete maker in the main storage hall? That must have been Medic. Okay. Uh, or maybe been rest, I don't know. Because it wasn't set up right, so I fixed it. <laughs> well, it definitely wasn't me, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Pull the other one. Let's not let's not get started on your idea of a redstone clock. Hey, it functions. Mm, that that is not the metric we should be using for these sorts of things. <laughs> Just because it functions doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> it does. 
No. No. That's how you make engineers sad. Good thing we don't have any of those on the server, huh? Hey, now. So you, uh, you like seeing your server text in Russian, is that it? Oh, oh, you meant, you meant, uh, uh yeah, okay. My, I thought you meant, like, you know, <laughs> like, actual, like, engineer, like, you know, the, the ones that, like, draw maps and stuff, you know, my bad, my uh -huh. bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what would be what would be the 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 best prank punishment for something like that? Something something fitting, but not cruel. I don't know. I used to turn people's monitors the wrong direction. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm talking about something that could be done on the server, though, because like I, I've also done the thing where you screenshot somebody's computer, set it as the wallpaper, and then hide all the icons. Wow, that's pretty. <laughs> what? That's pretty messed up. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've never heard that one? No. That's oh, a, that's yeah, a no. Point. That, that's, yeah. That's a fun one. One, two, three, four, five, and then one more. I, I still remember when I worked for the hospital. Uh, I changed one of the biggest UN, uh, UNC fans in the office. I changed their new email notification to the NC State fight song. Uh, I think you're off by one. Oh, wait, no, that's right for the wall. And, uh, the best part is somebody else got blamed for it. So they got an angry call about how their new email, you know, why did you change? Uh, they didn't know anything about it because they, they weren't in on it. But as soon as they figured out in all the ranting that... Um, that had been changed to the NC State fight song, they started firing off emails just as fast as could be. Obviously causing more, uh, <laughs> more fun and frustration. <laughs> of course. Of course. And then I was asked, could you, could you please undo what they did to me? Yeah, I think I know exactly what they did. <laughs> oh, oh yeah mm -hmm. I got yep. you don't worry oh yeah I know exactly what happened did I light the candles yeah I did light the candles okay oh and this is the bottom 103 okay Oh yeah, it, it was uh, it was definitely a fun, it was definitely a fun day. Now, do I need to turn left or right here? That is the question. Because the hallway into the, st oh, I put that one one block too high. Is it me or are there guests on the other side of that wall? I swear I hear some skeletons. I don't hear anything. You sure? I don't, but I've got okay. 
you coming through two yeah. different ears, so I mean, <laughs> well, I should hope you know stereo. That that is usually how that works. Well, no, I've got you <laughs> on Discord coming through one ear, and I've got the stream. Oh, oh, another. gotcha, gotcha. Uh, why don't you mute the stream? That way, I can make sure the audio doesn't clip out or okay. No, that's fair. Do funny stuff like it likes to do. That's that's fair. That's fair. Although the only the only time we really had trouble with that was uh, oh, I'm out of polished the basalt. Last four streams. I got well, yeah, but that was also because the computer was down and I didn't have that uh, stream with. I got all the way to the bottom and I ran out of the polished basalt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Beach Duck, did you make it? What's the what, what, what's the what's the summon Beach Duck command? <laughs> I have coffee. Squiggly line, player dot add item. <laughs> space rubber duck space one <laughs> enter only one equip that in your right hand and squeak it repeatedly until I don't appear. think that's how that works well it works for Java <laughs> uh, that's how Java summons everybody except when he knows he's he shouldn't be that loud and he goes uh I, like, like, like we can't hear him down the hallway. You know this side's got polished basalt, but the other side's got... Yes, because this is the new design. That is the old one. And I just didn't get this far in running, <laughs> running the new, the new materials. It, it's on the to-do list. Okay. Well, it is... Oh, no, not cut it yet. Why then? Close, no cigar. What? There you go. <laughs> Much appreciated, because this definitely went faster with help. Uh, I was struggling. Well, that, that's been the theme of the last few weeks, too, so... That's okay. I'm, I'm getting help on that part. Yep. I only need a little help sometimes. Is this where we break into a couple of courses of all with a little help for my friends? Why did I leave this mm. dug out? Oh, that's right. Because that's where the edge of the room is. Okay. Starting to wonder if I shouldn't have gone down one more. That would have put the the stairs. Yeah, that would have put the stairs on the outside edges instead of the inside edges of the bottom room. No. No, I'm not going down one more. <laughs> well, the part part of the reason for this was to because I'm gonna dig out the rooms. So on each floor, there's going to be a room with the same dimensions as the one as, as the ones above it. But I also wanted easy access into the uh, the the central room over here. Ah, okay. So you can do all your. Uh... So I can actually get here without getting, uh, you know mugged by a skeleton in the middle of the night. And the because math, I, I didn't quite reach the same floor level over there, over here. If I went down one more floor, I would be too low. This one's too high. Unless I want to make this bottom floor all grade downwards a little bit to be just right. But I don't. I don't think I want to do that. Unless you have some suggestions. Oh. Oh. Good. 
since since I got since I got a a bunch of extra people, let's head back up to the one of the. Let's head back up. Because I have I have questions, and I got some people I can poll for answers. Watch your step. <laughs> so I want to do the basalt and light for each floor. So each floor is going to be this size. I want to do the basalt and lighting, and what I want to do is color code each floor with a design. Um. And I've just been trying to figure out what to do with that design. Like, I'm using the tuft and something else for all the floors up. I was thinking about using the terracotta for all the floors down. And I just haven't figured out which design style I want to do. Like, with the cyan in the corners or the cyan in the cardinal directions. And which which colors would go for it. Because I want to say we got, like, what, seven seven floors? I say put the cyan in the corners. You like the cyan in the corners? What about you, Auntie Bess? And then the other question was going to be, what other terracotta colors could I mix with the cyan to make that work? Because that's still only three different designs. So, like, that's the orange terracotta with the cyan in the cardinal directions. That's the plain terracotta with the cyan and the cardinal direct yellow. And then this is just the reverse where it's the yellow, the regular, the orange with the with the cyan in the corners. Nah, eh, never mind. This is growing on me. Let's say go with this one. Yeah, that's see that that's exactly <laughs> I'm no, decorating. It's easier on the eyes. <laughs> I, I am building I am building a mountain fortress. <laughs> I don't know. A mountain castle. They they keep telling me I'm I'm a dwarf. I'm at least part dwarf. <laughs> you are. Um this one's easier on the eyes. The gray is, is sliding into it now <laughs> and all you have is this interruption of color in the corners to denote where you're at. Yeah. Whereas this over here, you just have this big plus sign of, of color. color yeah so, all right yeah, i'm i'm gonna say this is the winner over here at least in my opinion so. that's the direction i was leaning to i just you know i i like especially when it comes to the decoration type stuff i i tend to need a second opinion because you know the we're, we're we're in beach duck and pink geek territory <laughs> nah you just gotta listen to your own gut. You're fine. Uh, I, I I listened to my gut, and uh, it told me that the that the uh, <laughs> oh I pulled up the wrong one. That the sauerkraut was a really tasty idea, but not the smartest idea. Wrong, wrong that, gut. That, that that's wrong what my gut, gut said. But that's the wrong gut. <laughs> it made sure that I took regular breaks throughout the day. Well, that's what it's supposed to do. So now here's the next question. Uh, seven colors, so that's three. The yellow works. The plain works. The orange works. I'm going to do... Oh, I'm going to need four more of those. I mean, am I really going to have, like, the lime green floor? Cause that that doesn't seem. <laughs> uh, let me put some of this away so I've got space. I'm still, oh yeah, I'm still waiting for the uh, the inventory update. All right, let's just drop. Yeah, let, let's just put everything away. All right. I'm going to put a pause on that there. Drop these guys. Oop, oh, 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 that's the 
That's the wrong box for the loose stuff. There we go. How are you doing? I'm gonna grab a little more cyan. Because we've got a few different colors. So we got the plain terracotta as one. Th this is supposed to be pink. This is supposed to be magenta. This is supposed to be purple. I, I don't know who thought this was blue, but they're wrong. Actually, I think the lime might be okay. Or maybe the green. Cyan's going to be one of my fill colors, so I'm going to use a lot of that. Uh, I suspect the blue's going to be a little too close. I don't... I don't think the brown's going to work. Not black is not black. I, I really need to update our texture pack so that way our black is actually black. And maybe, uh, maybe fuss with the, uh, with the, yeah, no. I have white concrete but no white terracotta? Oh, let me fix that real quick. Good night, Auntie Bess. I'm probably not. I'm probably not going to be on too too much longer. Uh, I want to kind of get a plan for for the design. You know what colors for what floors, and then the next big project is going to be digging out this size space at each of the seven floors. <laughs> Although I might, if I can manage to uh, to do that over the weekend, I might do that over the weekend. Friday is going to be another uh, guitar guitar live stream I should be ready to do some of the uh, the the last steps I really hope to be done with it um, this Friday I would like to be done with it this Friday it just depends on if I actually get some of the inlay stuff finished uh, Okay. Uh, blue and purple are a definite no-go. I, no, I am not, no. That is an absolute negative. The yellow, the plain, and the orange are a definite go. That lime green doesn't, that doesn't look that bad. don't know how I feel about the white. That feels just a little too bright. Um, the light blue could work. That green, no, that green's too dark. That's way too dark. It, it just, it blends a little, they're, they're a little too close. It blends too much. Red could work. I don't know. I, I might. Yeah, I'll have to think about this. I only need to cut. I need. I only need to settle on seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let me go ahead and set up the uh, the rest of them real quick so that way I can I can take a good look at them later I'm gonna have to spend some time 
getting some emerald trades going so I can get the glowstone. I I was about to say I kind of wish there was a gold glowstone farm, but uh, I think there is. Isn't that one of the things that the piglins drop? I, I'm having a I'm having an absent-minded moment, and I could have sworn that uh, that glowstone was something that the no quartz quartz is what I'm thinking of. Because I know there, there, there's a couple of materials that I use a lot of, and the piglins will uh, trade for it. Trade your gold for it. Alright, so I got that done. So, there's black. Gray. Brown. Light gray. Magenta. And just for contrast, I'll put the green back in there. Alright, so these are the options I got to pick from. I just need seven to make it work, so I'll, I'll let that sit there overnight. Because uh, it is it is getting close to nine o'clock and I've got I've got some paperwork to fill out for uh, for some upcoming stuff. And, and, uh, yeah, I still got work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, I hope I didn't put anything too important in there. Oh, wait, no, 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 no that's right. I stuffed, uh, <laughs> I, I, I put the, the other stuff that I really needed to keep handy, uh, safe. So. We'll get uh we'll get that squared away in a little bit too. So this is where I say Thank you for hanging around. I hope you had fun. Uh Tuesdays and Fridays, 6 30 adjacent US Eastern. A lot of it depends on when I get out of work and hopefully I can get back to a regular schedule, which will mean I can get my streams back on a regular schedule, but uh that that depends on that depends on stuff going on. Once I get that sorted. So this Friday will be another guitar build with the parts caster. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get done the inlay stuff so that I can work on so I can work on the nut and get the final setup done. Although I might try something different for the inlay on the back, but I'll I'll talk about that Friday when I get there. Um All right, looks like uh Yeah, looks like all the people I normally raid aren't available. So, uh Impulse and Skizzleman are on. I I thought I saw a notification about them doing uh doing some sort of uh Skyblock thing, some new Skyblock thing. So, let, let's go take a peek in on them. Um I love them both, but it looks like Skizzleman has uh hasn't quite caught up to Impulse on the numbers. So, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll raid him. Uh, stick around for the raid, have fun, enjoy, I'll see you next time.